This is Autumn Siminski. Welcome to part two of five, how to carve a dragonfly on a gourd. This project, when finished, will be a lamp that will shine light patterns on the wall. Beautiful and fun. Be sure to wear eye protection, a mask, and a glove on the hand that does not hold the drill. Here I use 600 grit sandpaper to remove the outer layer and smooth out the wings. Notice the beautiful natural pattern. Be sure to keep a brush handy. You must keep the carving clear of dust and debris so that you can see your work and pay attention to great detail. Always practice on a scrap piece of gourd or wood uh, before you try to do anything on your actual piece. Get to know your drill bits, uh, know what they're gonna do before you even start. I'm going to use a small diamond barrel bit and smooth around the edges of the wings to create more depth and smoothness. I'm going to clean up all those edges on the wings. Using medium pressure and the speed on number five, I put the bit at a very low angle against the design and pull it gently towards myself. Just pulling it easy, gently, laying it almost on its side, and continue to pull it to you until it's at the depth that you desire. Be careful not to punch a hole in your gourd, uh, but if you do, we can make that part of the design, no worries. You can see the shadow there where we have carved on the other side of that wing. That shows you the depth that we've created. See that shadow coming in there as I pull the drill? So we're creating our depth, getting it smooth, cleaning up the edges all at the same time. After we get all of these edges smooth and the depth that we want, we will take a long nose diamond bit and we will tuck it up underneath the wings and we will undercut. This will create a nice three dimension and make the dragon fly look like he's lifted up off of the gourd. This is the long nose pointed diamond bit that I will use to do the undercutting. I will go underneath the wing about a quarter of an inch and then I'll pull the drill gently to myself. I will lay that drill bit almost flat on its side as I pull it underneath that wing. Pull it towards you slowly. Don't lift up on it or you will chip the edge of the wing. Keep a brush handy so you can keep your work clean. Make sure you can see what you're doing. And wear a mask. Be sure you have your eye protection on. Now you can see where we've been doing the undercutting. See the crack up underneath there? It goes about a quarter of an inch up under there. And that's gonna make your 
dragonfly look like he's lifting up off the gourd. This is important. All your carvings should have some type of an undercutting. So we'll go around this wing and do the same thing, putting the needle up underneath the wing about a quarter of an inch and then gently pulling it to us. There's a chip over on the other side there. You can see that. That's where I lifted the needle up too soon and I chipped it. But there's a way to fix that and we'll do that later on in the video. I use my little finger as a kind of a crutch to hold my hand steady and to keep that uh, bit at the right depth. You can't use your drill and hold it, you know, you can't have it up in the air. You've got to have some type of balance. So I lean it on my little finger to keep the right pressure and the right depth. And I'm not going fast, it just looks like it. I have the video sped up a little bit there. But just pulling it to me gently at medium pressure and I'm using about number five or number six speed and there you can see the undercutting good clean undercut doing a little bit more undercutting there You will get the chips in the side, in your work when you're undercutting if you lift the bit straight up. You have to pull it out from underneath your undercutting. If you lift it straight up, you're going to chip it. But it can be fixed, so no worries. And we'll put in some more holes in that way. You have to be sure that you position your gourd to where it's comfortable for you to work. And you don't want to let that flex shaft get in too much of a bind. You want to keep it straightened out as much as possible because if it gets in a bind, it will get hot and it will ruin. You really need that flex shaft on there. So I use a Dremel 3000 with a flex shaft. It's a 10 speed variable drill. I've had it for several years and I like it a lot. But I will be getting some other Dremel tools, trying them out. Uh, we'll show that on other videos. I'm using the diamond long nose pointed bit for these holes right here. So take your take your drill bits when when you get a new set of drill bits and get your whatever it is you're going to be uh, drilling on, get a scrap piece of it and practice so that you know exactly what your drill bits are going to do, uh, how much, what kind of designs they'll make, and all those things. you got to know your drill bits before you can go on to your actual project. There's so much I need to learn in the editing department. I'm really new at this. I'm 77 years old and I'm having a blast. I want to set an example too for people my age 
I don't want people to give up just because they're getting older. That's a blessing. You got to keep going. You got to keep trying. So here I am trying to do a YouTube channel and trying to help people learn some things that I like to do. But I have to work on the editing. And uh, that's what I'm doing as we speak. I'd like to know how to make the picture larger. But if you have a computer, you can do that on your laptop or your notebook. You can make it larger. But I advance every time I do a new video. I learn something new. So it looks like I'm using that tungsten carbide real pointed bit there. Yep. Starting out with tiny holes, and we're going to work our way out to the end of the wing and make larger holes. They just gradually get larger as they go out towards the end. We're going to be doing stained glass, we're going to be doing cement art, we're going to be doing acrylic, watercolor, oil painting, all kinds of things. This is going to be a fun channel. All right, now I've changed a bit again to the diamond bit. It's kind of rounded, little. So it looks like a diamond barrel bit with a blunt, uh, blunt end on the end of it. And we're doing more detail around the face of the dragonfly. Practice with your speeds. You don't want to have too high a speed. You can burn your project, or if it's too slow, the, the drill bit will jump up and down and you won't have much control. Be sure to brush your work as you go. Keep it clean. Sorry, I got the gourd out of the line of the camera. I'm real bad about doing that. I'm trying to get better at my videos. So I'm sure as they come along, they'll get better. It takes experience, it takes practice. I've got a blunt diamond bit there going around the face, cleaning up detail and trying to get a little bit more depth. I'm out getting it ready to do undercutting later on in the video. We have to undercut the whole, di whole dragonfly. Probably we'll do that in the next video, undercut all this detail. But I'm just going around cleaning it up right now. Doing some of the design on the back, the back of his clean that all up. What we're doing is we're cleaning it up and finding all the edges from the initial carving in part one. Going back in and cleaning up some of the holes in the wings. Making sure I can see all the way through them because we want the light to be able to pass through there. 
So I double checked, looked down in there, and there were some holes that needed to be cut a little bit deeper. So that's what we're doing there. We're going in and cleaning them out so the light will pass through onto the wall. So what I'm doing here, we're going over the whole design and we're going to clean it up, get it all ready for part three. In part three, we're going to be going over the tail of the dragonfly and the legs and all the other details, getting it ready to finish up with color. Now I'm using that long nose diamond bit to just clean up the edges of the wings where we did the undercutting. I'm smoothing out some of the areas where there might be chips or just some little uneven places. Just kind of smoothing it out there. Just using light pressure, pulling it towards me. Not a high speed, maybe around number six speed. Just cleaning up the wings. If you're still with me, then I know you're a diehard and you really want to learn. I appreciate you so much for being here and watching me. Please try to like and subscribe, follow me along, because as I get better with my editing, the videos are going to be a lot more interesting, but stick with me, you're going to learn a lot, we're going to have a lot of fun. So thanks again for being here, and uh, like and subscribe, help me get these videos going, I've been out for the last three years with several surgeries and we're back up and running and we want to get things going so again thank you so much for being here this design will have a lot of botanicals in it so we're going to start out by putting some leaves in the background We'll go back in later and detail it, but there'll be leaves and flowers and lots of interesting things in the background. For more interest in the wings, I'm using the same blunt 
diamond bit to create line and design in the wings. If you've made it this far in the video, you're definitely my hero. And I hope to see you in part three. I'll have it up next week. I'll look for you then. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.